Hey guys, it's Jared the Air Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. We've got another review today. This one is of the KWA M1911A1. This is their first gun to feature their NS2 gas delivery system where they really started to step it up. So let's go ahead and open the box. Uh, first though, it has some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice color on it. It's a little bit different, stands out, and pretty pleasing to the eye. On the back of the box, they have their targets. I'm not sure why you'd want to shoot up your box, but there's targets on the back if you'd like to. So let's open up this box here. And this is what you get. Very, very nice 1911. If you want to buy this gun, there's a link in the video information to RDA's website. There's also another link in the video information to RDA's forum where you can comment on this video. All right, so it comes with this plastic piece that says, KSC 1911 to clear confusion. KSC and KWA are only sister companies. They are not the same company. Uh, it comes with the hop of adjustment tool. More on that later. It comes with some high quality 0.2 gram BBs. Use these all you want, but they're not going to last you very long. And it comes with some silicone oil for looping up the gun. Other than that, it comes with 15 round magazine and the M1911A1 itself. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this box out of the way. You don't need it anymore. Alright, so this gun is a very comfortable gun. You guys all know what I think of 1911s. I absolutely love 1911s. Uh, if you've ever shot real firearms or a real 1911, you should love them as well. Even if you've only carried an Airsoft 1911, there should be no doubts in your mind that 1911s are absolutely awesome. They feel absolutely great in your hands. They're still the target pistol, or the target shooting pistol of choice uh, by the professionals. This is just one classic American gun that's never going to die out. It's always going to be there. This is just nothing you can really say bad about the 1911. It's absolutely awesome. Um, first thing I need to say though, KWA loves to paint gigantic orange tip on the front of their gun. Please don't spam that in the comments. We're all aware of it. Um, I'm guessing it's because of law enforcement and stuff like that. They can't. Uh, I'm guessing they can't just put an orange plug. The government probably won't let them. I wish they would wish they could. I really don't know the real reason, but it is very ugly. Something you can get past, though. Comparing this 1911 to other 1911s, however, this one absolutely destroys them. Uh, the quality in this thing is a lot better than, say, WEs or something like that, since it uses the NS2 system. Shoots at about 300 feet per second, which is not as strong as their other NS2 systems, uh, or their other NS2 pistols. However, it is a lot better on gas than uh, other 1911s. This thing can fire out about two magazines on a 50 degree day or so, and it would get a little bit more, maybe about two and a half, two and three quarters on a warm day. So that's a that's really, really good for a standard 1911. I would still, however, recommend getting an extra magazine for this gun. Uh, this gun weighs roughly around what the real 1911 weighs. It weighs quite a bit more than WE's. Um, and uh, this will be really close to the weight of an uh, actual 1911 if uh, the 1911 wasn't fully loaded. Uh, it has the same safety as normal 1911's. You can flip it up if it's not cocked, but the safety won't do anything then. If it is cocked, flip it up. Locks the trigger. Can't do anything. You can pull it off, and then you can pull the trigger. Still does feature the half cocked safety. Can't do anything, and it also has the ducktail safety in back. Where if you're not pushing this, you can't pull the trigger. If you are, you can pull it. Uh, the gun is full metal. The only part of it that isn't metal is the rips here, but the actual frame and slide are metal, and the slide gives you a pretty nice metal clunk. Uh, the way you take apart this gun, pull back on the side, 
till it reaches that notch and push out on the other side there's a button right there you push out on oops and it should push out like that and you can completely pull it out and well first eject the mag but after you pull that pin out you can take the upper receiver from the lower receiver it's really not too complicated And it's pretty cool how the spring mechanism works in this one. As the spring rod is only back here. So the front will go in like so. To put it back on the lower receiver, you just slide it on, push down this little piece here. put the slide release back in insert your magazine and you're ready to shoot so it's that easy just to do that if you want to lube it up then you could as well uh, if you wanted to change the hop up you could as well then too but there's an easier way of changing the hop up uh, you can open up the slide, which I would recommend only opening it to the this little nick where you're supposed to take it apart, as it makes it easier to do this. Take your hop-up adjustment tool, and you would stick it in right there and adjust. It actually is easier to do without the magazine is magazine in the gun. Overall, I found the hop-up to be actually very, uh, very, very nice and work great. Uh, I know it's a little bit windy outside, but we're having like 50 to 55 mile an hour wind gusts right now. I went outside just to test this thing, uh, see how it was firing, fired out a few magazines outside, and even within the wind, it was shooting really straight. So the accuracy in this gun is overall pretty good. When The next time I get a chance, I'll be able to do the accuracy test. If it's already up, ignore that last statement. But the accuracy on this gun overall is pretty good. Uh, since this is a military model, the safety is only on the side of a right-handed person. So sorry to all you lefties out there. I don't see it to be too much of a problem though because uh, I never use the safety myself. I always figure your mind is a safer safety than a, than a mechanical safety that can fail. It also will make you not want to point it at someone even more than usual. Alright, so mag release. Free falling mag. Trigger is metal, gun is single action, like the real 1911. Alright, so I think I've fully covered everything on the gun. I don't believe I am missing anything. Oh, wait, I am. The sights. The sights are standard 1911 sights, and the orange actually comes to your benefit here because it makes it really easy to line up that front side for your next shot. So now I believe I have covered absolutely everything. Um, two things actually, I haven't. I'm gonna keep saying that until I, I run out of things to cover. But uh, there are two things. One, this gun does not have any problem with the follower lock. It'll always lock back. I have never had it fail once, so that's a good thing. And another thing, I'm pull this back so you can see it better. It's got some pretty cool markings. As you can see right there, it says GHD on it. I can get the camera to focus. There we go. So it says GHD. I just covered it up. It says GHD right there. What that means is that on the real one, the ones that had these markings were uh, gone, had gone through Colt. It was one of the Colt markings that had said this gun has been checked and uh, whatnot. There was two of them. One was GHD, and the other was WB, and again, all this meant is that it went through Colt inspection. But it is pretty cool that it is on the real one. It also has some of the other marks, markings as well. So it has some, some of the cool markings all over it. Alright, so now I've covered basically everything on the gun, 
And as always, I got a special little ending for you. I got a slow mo montage of just, just one shooting and different angles. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's review of the KWA M1911 A1. Let's go ahead and play that slow mo montage. <laughs>